So almost everything's been different about the ESCO digital program. Firstly, in approaching it from a first principles perspective, it was very clear that what this enterprise was trying to achieve was changing how the railway worked. And as a result of that, it had to be organized fundamentally differently. And because we were changing that quite fundamentally, it meant that the whole approach to what we delivered, how we delivered it, and how those participants came together had to be very different. It just couldn't be done in a traditional way where Network Rail would specify, suppliers would build, uh, and operators were just asked to keep up with it. We realized that because it touched the core of how the railway operated, there's a really important and unique marriage between operations and engineering that had to be created. And we also understood that we needed suppliers to be engaged in a very different way to get the best out of the capability and talent across supply chain and partner organizations in a very virtual environment to reduce complexity. That means all the participating organizations are embedded into the program and they're part of its governance. And while that sounds very process-like, it was very important to force the conversation to define outcomes and blueprints, scoping the full extent of projects, and to then deliver business change. So that has very real, tangible, material effects. It's not just a, okay, it's a framework, or, you know, write it in a plan and leave it on the shelf. The third is we designed a, what we call a user-centric design of method, which brought the operating community very close to the engineering community and took the administration out the way. And that has been absolutely profound in making sure we understood the operating environment today and the aspired future state and that we understood the engineering possibilities and limitations and that those two together figured out therefore how best to do that. Lastly the approach to suppliers was very different so we took away the internal shadowing uh, administration and they were employed as a delivery partner specified on outputs and outcomes brought in extremely early to help develop the plan so the plans were their plans and our plans together incentivized on those outputs and outcomes and against the things we care about, like railway performance, its availability, minimizing access and disruption and things like that. Altogether, what that means is we've created a virtually integrated railway environment where all the key participants work together towards a very clear mission in a very open boundary environment.